Well, people have probably forgotten all about the monsoon. Our record heat comes on the final day of monsoon season. And as you know, it's been very dry across the state. In fact, one of the top 10 worst monsoons ever. 12 News journalist William Pitts explains what happened and why fall just will not arrive. There are some places across the valley, not many, but there are some that did get a lot of rain in the last few months. But for the most part, this monsoon has sucked. A ah, fall in the valley. The crunching underfoot, the leafless trees, the 115 degrees. Yeah, those leaves aren't turning, they're burning. We were hoping we wouldn't see those extreme conditions this year. And here we are talking about the extreme heat and we're breaking records from last year. The National Weather Service says this is officially the hottest year on record after the last hottest year on record, which was last year. And since monsoon is now over, it's also tied for the seventh driest monsoon ever. We're looking for a certain placement of a high pressure off to our, mainly off to our northeast. And that allows flow of moisture in from the Gulf. And that never really happened. So to recap, we've had a handful of storms and it's been hotter than literally any other time. I know my yard is a little rough. These plants held on as long as they can, but it's 112 degrees in October. It's really not our fault. That also means, come on in. You can't do much about it. These plants should be outside at Whitfield Nursery. They'll be ready for November now. We'll have to cut them back. Instead, they're in the greenhouse, trying to survive, even as people ask for them. Really wanting to buy a lot of geraniums and things. And, you know, we're telling them, hey, it's not time yet. It's going to be 105 the 1st of October. We didn't plan on 115. Yeah. Well, we're going to put shade all the way across this whole centerpiece right here. This one will be done in a day or so. Not even palm trees are immune. So that one's burnt a little bit from being in the sun. Now, that normally wouldn't happen this time of year. The good news is it can't be this hot forever. Eventually, it has to cool down. And we can get back to being the envy of every snowy state in the country. Just not yet. William Pitts, 12 News.